me More money, more money, more Some come fast, some come slow Even though I got to pay my bill I'm still on the streets trying to keep it real Hey y'all, it's your buddy Chuck again and we're back at it on Thursday, June 13th. And <laughs> y'all, we're in a little bit of a bind here. We've got exactly 100 deliveries in the last 30 days. AR is down to 72%. Completion rate is 95%. And DoorDash sends me a Starbucks order for $3.50. Now, it's only going a mile or so. Pay no attention to the miles on the screenshot. I was heading this way trying to get to Walmart. I need the deliveries. I need to protect my acceptance rate. If I want to stay platinum, does platinum do anything for you? I don't know. Why would I get a three and a half dollar Starbucks if it was worth anything? But here we go, y'all. Starbucks, my favorite place. Alright y'all, we've got Diamond Starbucks order picked up. It's going eight tenths of a mile. She better not be on the third floor. No, I think she's on the first floor. them and appreciate your business enjoy your Starbucks have a terrific day I'm trying to stay platinum I'm trying to protect my acceptance rate so I delivered a three and a half dollar Starbucks well as soon as I dropped that off DoorDash sent me a five and a half dollar seven mile McDonald's I declined it Dropped from 72% AR to 71%. Then, as soon as I declined that, DoorDash sent me a $3 four and a half mile cracker barrel. I declined that. Stayed at 71%. That didn't drop me. What's going on, DoorDash? I'm a platinum dasher. <laughs> Evidently, it means nothing. Anyway, just as soon as I declined those two garbage orders, DoorDash sent me a high pay offer $9.25 for 4.3 miles. So we accepted that one. McDonald's. Here we go to Mickey D's for $9.25. Well, we're still driving to McDonald's. We got a spark offer. Unreal, 27 bucks. Curbside pickup, three drops. Doesn't look too bad. Looks like there might be a case of water in there somewhere, but I think it's going to a house. There's something that weighs 50 pounds. So we'll pick up this Mickey D's. It looks like it's dropping off on Kings Bay Road right across from Walmart. Drop that off and head to Walmart to pick up this curbside. Awesome. I've got 243. Thank you so much. You too. You having a good day so far? Yeah, so far. I just got started. I'm going to go. All right, y'all, this is awesome. This is uh, $36, $37 we've got in the bag right now between the McDonald's order and the Spark that we accepted. This, uh, I've got instructions on this delivery to, to hand it to me, bring it inside the Goodwill store, which I've done several times before. I could, I'll be passing right by Walmart. Goodwill store is just right down the street from Walmart. I'll be passing by Walmart. I could pull in there and confirm arrival. And then 
proceed to Goodwill. I wish it would let me confirm arrival as I'm driving past Walmart. <laughs> that would be helpful. Hey y'all, as I was passing right by Walmart, at the very closest point, right by the entrance, I hit confirm arrival and it went through. <laughs> so now I just gotta tell them which parking spot. And here's Goodwill. Hey, are you Michael? I appreciate your business, buddy. Have a great day. Whoa. Whoa, why is that a... Why is that a 525 base pay? That doesn't make sense. $4 tip. How strange. Why was that base pay 525? That was an easy little order. Y'all, I haven't looked to see what's in this spark order. Uh, you know, this may be a disaster. I don't know. There might be 20 cases of water or something. From a cursory glance, it didn't look bad. But I always get surprised. Oh, y'all, I lucked out on this. <clears throat> this is going to be the easiest order ever. Well, except for the 11 miles of driving. I don't mind that. Creekwood, okay, I know where that is. So we are headed west. By the way, y'all, I don't think I finished my thought earlier. The main goal today is Huff got to make at least six DoorDash deliveries. Woke up this morning with 100 deliveries in the last 30 days. And oh, there's a train. <laughs> I've got exactly 100 deliveries in the last 30 days. And I've checked and 30 days ago I made six deliveries. So I've got to make six today so I can wake up with a hundred tomorrow. This rolling 30 thing. Getting on my nerves. Hey, Teresa, I appreciate your business. Hope you have a wonderful day. Must be family. I appreciate your business. Hope you have a terrific day. Right, Richardson family, I appreciate your business. Hope you have a wonderful day. All right, y'all, that was a really easy spark curbside order for $27. 11 miles of driving, but other than that, it's just super easy. And as we were unloading that last drop in the customer's garage, got this Uber Eats order. $13 to deliver Cracker Barrel to the submarine base. 
military housing. This is fantastic. Now, <laughs> I still need to make four DoorDash deliveries. But it's only 9.30 in the morning, y'all. And we just made... Uh, uh, 40 bucks in the first hour. Pretty cool. 53 bucks now counting this Cracker Barrel. This is awesome. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll just concentrate on DoorDash after this. Get four or five orders done and call it a day. Bella on Uber Eats. All right, y'all, that went off without a hitch. Now we just got to drive seven miles to deliver it. I wonder if the base pay is really high or if the tip is really high. I'm guessing base pay. I mean, it might have a decent tip on it. Maybe it's got a $11 tip. I don't know. I'm guessing high base pay, though. All right, Bella. I appreciate your business. Hope you enjoy your Cracker Barrel. Have a terrific day. At your door. I appreciate your business. Have a wonderful day. Wow, freaky. That was an $11 base pay and a $2 tip. What do you know? Interesting. All right, y'all, $53 in a little less than an hour and a half. And we've got to make at least four more DoorDash deliveries today. All right, y'all, we unpaused DoorDash and got offered three and a half dollars to deliver Subway five miles. And uh, evidently one of these recent DoorDash deliveries raised us back up to 72% AR. So we declined that Subway, went back down to 71%. And now we've just gotten a terrible McDonald's order on DoorDash, like six and a half bucks for six and a half miles. We accepted that. It's going to be a drive. I think I need three more deliveries today to stay platinum. Because this platinum sure is doing me a whole lot of good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, DoorDash. Sometimes I really hate you.
Yep. That's you? Yeah. FO3. How's it going today? Everything going okay? Everything else. Good deal. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You too. All right, Timothy, I appreciate your business, buddy. Sorry, puppy. Have a terrific day. I know I said that I need to work on getting some DoorDash deliveries in today. I still got to do three more. But I couldn't resist. I was passing right by Walmart and it was just about time for the orders to drop. So I pulled in. I got a shopping order. It wasn't bad. It was 14 bucks shopping for 10 items. The 10 items looked really easy. But it was going seven miles east. So, 10 items plus 7 miles seemed like it should have paid more than $14. So, I rejected that. Then I got an $11 no-tip shopping order with just a whole bunch of weird oddball stuff. Like, I don't remember how many items, 14 items or something. Anyway, I rejected that. Talked to my buddy Myron, who does Spark full-time. And uh, he said they're not dropping at the bottom of the hour anymore. They're dropping all hour long, different times. Anyway, while I was standing there talking to Myron, I got this uh, DoorDash order. A good one, high pay offer, seven and a half bucks plus. Picking up from Papa John's right here in the Walmart shopping center. So let's go get some pizza, y'all. Thank you so much. No problem. Sorry about your way. That's all right. All right. Here you go. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You Thank you. Hey, Heather. I just got another DoorDash Papa John's order. I'm going to go deliver this and then come back and pick it up. All right. Yeah, it's still the other still. This is a short delivery. Yeah. I'll be right back. Hey puppy. Hey puppy. Hey puppies. Hey big puppy and little puppy. I wanted to pet the puppies. Yeah, uh, you don't have enough sense to just stand still. You're all over the place. <laughs> Y'all have sir. a great day. You thank too. you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, y'all, so 750 plus went up to 860. That was a good order. That was two and a half miles from Papa John's to the customer. All right, I'm back. Thank you, Heather. Have a great day. You too. Oh, I accidentally touched your phone. It's okay. It's got a dial tone now. <laughs> Sorry. All right, y'all, $4.25 to take this pizza seven miles. Hand it to me. Could be a cash tip.
Oh, there's a doorbell. Hey there, how are you? Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. There you are. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. <laughs> well, no cash tip for Chuck today. That would have been the perfect opportunity. Zero tip. What do you know, Haley? What do you know? 425 base pay. Zero tip. Oh, Haley. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, y'all, here's what I decided to do. I need one more DoorDash delivery today so I can still be a Platinum Dasher tomorrow. When I dropped off my no-tip Papa John's pizza order, I was about four miles west of Kingsland. So I ended my dash and I looked at the map. Kingsland was gray. Folkestone said very busy <laughs> and was red. Now, I'm now in the Folkestone zone and have not got an offer. All right, y'all, that didn't take long. We just got a McDonald's offer on DoorDash in Folkestone, Georgia. Seven and a half dollars for five miles. It's good enough. Thank you. All right, Sabra, I appreciate your business. Enjoy your Mickey D's and have a terrific day. Y'all, I think there was a hidden tip on there with no plus sign. <laughs> I was just saying last night on the live stream that I don't think I've ever gotten a hidden tip unless there was a plus sign. Let's consult the screenshots. That said 750 for 5.1 miles. Not a high pay offer, but it turned out to be eight fifty. Six and a half dollar tip. Weird. All right, y'all. That does it for Thursday, June thirteenth. Worked out okay, I guess. <laughs> um, DoorDash, man, I just don't know about DoorDash. I don't know about this whole platinum business. I've been getting some terrible offers. Anyway, uh, we wound up with a little over $80 in just a little over three hours. So, whatever that comes out to, $24, $25 bucks an hour, I'll take it. It's pretty good. Thanks for watching, y'all. Thanks for riding along with me. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I appreciate it. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow. Very